Hey guys, wanted to make a quick video showing a new tool that I recently acquired. It showed up on my front porch today via the UPS man and uh, something that I recently was made aware of and I wanted to share it with you guys, show you how it works and actually how well it works. I'm very impressed with it and for the price it really can't be beat. And uh, I actually heard about this tool on the KnifeDogs.com forums. If you guys haven't checked that form out, I highly recommend it. It's a form that's run by the owner of USAKnifeMaker.com, Tracy Mickley. Uh, there's a lot of great sub forums on there, uh, from anything from knife making to knife collecting to knife selling. Uh, pretty much any forum that you could think of or need, uh, as well as any questions that you could have are addressed there. And uh, if your question is not addressed, uh, just become a member, uh, start a thread, and I'm sure you'll get a very quick answer from some very knowledgeable people. But one of the threads that I happened upon when I was perusing the forum a couple of days ago was a, it was a thread about a problem that an individual had after making a slip joint folder. Uh, somehow the slip joint um, spring, back spring, and the blade had become inadvertently magnetized and they were sticking to each other, uh, somewhat impeding the function of the knife. And this individual posted a question on the forum uh, if anyone else had had that problem and how they addressed it. And one of the solutions that came back uh, was from an individual who had purchased what's called a demagnetizer. And he uh, posted a link to the ENCO website showing the one that he had purchased. It was very reasonably priced. And another well-known knife maker also posted his experience with the same uh, demagnetizer and uh, kind of sharing his success with it as well. So I went ahead and followed the link, uh, checked the tool out, saw that it was under $25 uh, before shipping. And uh, because I've actually had some problems with magnetized blades in the past myself, I decided it would be worth uh, checking out. So I went ahead and ordered one, and here it is. Uh, overall, it's a very basic unit, uh, really not much to it. It has an AC power cord, which plugs into a standard 120-volt wall outlet. And then it has the power switch, which powers the unit on and off. And uh, very simple, very easy to use, but also very effective. And just to give a little bit of background on what I need it for, uh, typically when I'm working with thinner stock, especially with smaller blades, uh, I'll need to kind of flat ground the blade on my belt sander, whether it's the 2x72 or my 6x48 over there. And uh, in order to keep my fingers off of the belts, uh, I'll usually use this magnetic holder here, uh, which is just a piece of uh, 3 8 thick flat, flat stock with two neodymium magnets to hold the blade in place. And what this does, it simply gives me a larger handle to keep my hand off the, blade, or off the belts while uh, grinding the surface of my blade flat. Unfortunately, a side effect of using these strong magnets is that it very easily and quickly magnetizes the blades. And when you're shaving the metal off or uh, grinding the metal off with your belt, it tends to collect at the points and on the edges of the knife. And I'll give you a quick example here. I have some uh, spare dust on the bench. Uh, as you can see, it uh, clumps up pretty good on here, and when you're trying to sharpen the blade or clean it up, it kind of makes things a little bit difficult and a little bit irritating uh, just to have to keep wiping this clean. And uh, you never really get it all as much as you try uh, just with all the metal dust floating around here. So uh, I wanted to try this out, and I uh, powdered it on a few moments ago, and I uh, used it for the first time, and I was actually very impressed with how this worked. Uh, like I said, it's very simple, nothing to it. You just power the unit on. You can run the tool or the object over the plate here. You can actually feel it being pulled into the plate uh, via the transformer inside. But you just run it over a couple times, uh, switch, switch sides. And... Uh, as you can see, all of that dust has now fallen off because the blade is no longer magnetic. 
And just to give you a quick example here, again, uh, just to prove it to you, I'll go ahead and uh, dip it in my dust again. Uh, as you can see, no more dust collecting at the tips or the edges of the blade. So uh, something that's very easy to use, works very quickly, and uh, it's really not all that expensive. Uh, like I said, it was under $25 before shipping. And uh, just as a quick little tip here, Enco, the company that I bought this from, that's E-N-C-O, uh, they actually have a promotion right now. If you spend $25 or more, uh, you can put in a, cu a coupon code for free shipping. And since this came out under $25, I just went ahead and added a 6-inch crescent wrench, which is something I've been meaning to buy for a while. And uh, this actually was about 8 or $9, which is basically what the shipping would have been anyway. So for about the same price that I would have paid uh, just to have this shipped, uh, I essentially got a free crescent wrench. So I'll go ahead and throw that little tip out there if you guys need to buy any smaller hand tools, uh, maybe something cheap, or uh, even if you have to buy something a little bit more expensive. Uh, you can go to Enco, maybe throw one of these on here and get the free shipping if you spend more than $25. But uh, this is the demagnetizer. Like I said, very easy, nothing to it, uh, but very effective. And that's uh, definitely going to do what I need it to do. So uh, definitely recommend this tool. Uh, definitely want to recommend Enco. They shipped very fast. Uh, everything was packaged fairly well. And uh, I will say that the box that this came in was a little bit beat up. And after taking this out, there were some loose parts floating around inside. Uh, turned out just to be a nut that had fallen off one of these screws that's holding the transformer uh, to the base inside of this unit. So uh, all I needed to do was take this cover off, uh, put the screw and the nut back in place, tighten everything up, and replace the cover. And this cover did have a protective film over it, uh, since it is very highly polished, as you can see. Uh, so I went ahead and took that off, and the unit itself was in good condition. So uh, I'll definitely recommend this product. I'll recommend the company that I bought it from. And uh, this is definitely going to get a lot of use in my shop uh, as I get done grinding my blades, or uh, even for other tools and items that I need to demagnetize. Uh, that's the demagnetizer. Check it out. Uh, I may go ahead and annotate a link to where I got this later. Uh, I'm not sure, but go ahead and Google uh, demagnetizerenco.com and you'll likely find it very quickly. And uh, for the price, you can't beat it. For the ease of use, it's even better. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you later.